and correct me if I'm wrong, but so basically, yeah, you have this energy stored in a traction battery, big battery pack on the vehicle. It's a direct current. Electric motors run on AC alternating current. You have, therefore, a need to convert from AC to DC. That's what the inverter does. And along with that, there's a control function because the amplitude and the frequency of the output from a standard inverter, whether it's a silicon, silicon carbide, etc., determines the speed and torque profile of the electric motor. And so... And then there's a gearbox and it goes from there, which, which we'll probably circle back to. But essentially the, the functions of the inverter, the vehicle is uh, converting and then some control. And I, I think it's interesting as well, because I think a lot of the attention is often provided, often put on the, the battery packs and the electric motors with the, uh, the in-between neglected. So with that groundwork set, can you explain kind of what, what this coil driver is that x is providing and commercializing at this point? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you're 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 exactly right. I think that was another piece of a puzzle that I, that we recognized we had an opportunity to differentiate where others others weren't trying to uh, mm-hmm. innovate. And um, yeah, fundamentally, you, you got a ton of attention on the battery. People love to talk about battery chemistries and battery voltages, um, infrastructure for charging batteries, all of these different topics that go along with electric vehicles. It's also really, I think, it's really relatable and and mechanical to look at an electric motor and see a turning device and then look at the materials. So hoppers, different types of magnets, you can kind of talk about which ones have different properties. Um, Now there's this battery, batteries, you know, if you dig even mildly deeply at them, they're, they're all, it's all DC current that comes from a battery. Uh, the motors, if you look, you know, just surface level deep at these motors, they're all AC. So how do you get from DC to AC? And, and the inverter is that missing link. And so all of that energy flows through one, one box that's sort of a black box, I think, for most people. Um, and trying to explain that actually, well, that's one of the biggest challenges to the layman to understand that, that, you know, what it, you know, even just that there's a conversion component that's just as important, if not more important to then say the electric motor. Um, and I know I'll get probably crucified online just for saying that by some people, but, <laughs> but, uh, but ultimately the, the controller is, is, a, is, is how you, how you drive the motor. So it's how you, it's, it's how you command torque. It's how you um, apply voltage to the actual machine. Um, it, that's not coming directly from the battery. The, ba- the battery is sort of this energy storage bank that's just giving you voltage. And, and then what you do with that voltage really it depends on what the controller mm-hmm. is doing. 